The Ryzen 7800X3D is a beast in the gaming world, and I'm excited to show you the best value gaming and streaming PC build featuring this incredible CPU. If you're looking to build a streaming rig that delivers top performance without breaking the bank, you're in the right place. Let's walk through each of the components, as well as a few alternatives, and we'll highlight a couple potential upgrades as well. Now, if you're new here to the Pixel Pub, my name is Devin. This is Devin Does Tech. Let's grab a pint and let's get started. Starting with the heart of our build, we have the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, one of the strongest gaming CPUs on the market today. With its eight cores and 16 threads, it's plenty fast for gaming and streaming. Not to mention, it puts this build on the newer AM5 platform, so it should be more upgradable down the road. For cooling, I went with the Thermalrite Peerless Assassin SE, an absolutely fantastic cooler at just $30. It's perfect for keeping up with the Ryzen 7, keeping it cool and performance at its best. Otherwise, if you really, really like the looks of an AIO liquid cooler, you really can't go wrong with the Lian Lee Galahad series for just a bit over a hundred bucks. Just remember for the most part that AIO isn't going to be that much cooler these days. It's mostly for aesthetics at this point. For the motherboard, I selected the Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite AX. This board not only looks great, but also offers a bunch of future proofing and upgradability. You can easily upgrade to a Ryzen 9 7950X or whatever else AMD releases here in the coming months. Next up, I'm a fan of the Corsair Vengeance line of RAM. I've selected this 32 gigabyte kit running at 600, at 6,000 megahertz, CL36 timings. This is ideal for gaming and multitasking, including streaming and content creation. Also specifically for these things, I never recommend anything smaller than a one terabyte NVMe drive, like this silicon power drive for $55. But I really like the idea of just jumping up to the two terabyte. If, especially if you're recording and editing your VODs as well, you'll definitely appreciate the extra storage. Now our GPU of choice is the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT. This card is a stellar performer at 1440p, delivering ultra settings with some crazy FPS on most titles. The 20 gigabytes of VRAM is a huge win. At around that $700 right now, it offers great value, amazing gaming performance. Now, some people say that you can only be a streamer if you're running an NVIDIA card, which just isn't true anymore. But if you are a diehard Team Green fan, I would definitely recommend the 4070 Ti Super. It's about $100 more, but it's a beast of a card right now. For all the latest pricing on these cards though, make sure you check the links in the description. Now these are some pretty high-end builds and honestly not necessary for everyone, especially if you're primarily an esports title player. If you play Fortnite, Rocket League, League of Legends, Valorant, CS2, I'll have a couple of alternative builds for you in just a second here. But let's talk about the case next. This build is going to feature the Montec Air 903. It comes with its own fans, some great airflow from the mesh front cover. I've actually built a couple of PCs in some similar Montec cases, and I've only had great experiences so far. But I really like to leave the case up to the individual person who's gonna be using that computer. Make sure you get something that you like the color that you want, the specs, and the features that you need. It's the one thing that you're gonna be looking at and actually using every single day. Now to power this system, uh, we're gonna be using the Corsair RM850E. At $120, the 850 might be a bit of an overkill, but it's great for future upgrades. It's only slightly more expensive than the 750 watt unit, so I say go for it. So the total cost of the build right now, we're looking at about $1,650. Now, if you're looking strictly to game and not stream, I would definitely recommend toning down the CPU a little bit with something closer to like the Ryzen 5 7600. 
paired with the Ryzen RX 7900 XT that we were talking about earlier. This combo will still give you the high FPS in almost all games, especially when you're talking 1440p and 4K resolutions. This GPU will get it done for every game out there right now. But if you're solely an esports player, you probably don't need anywhere near the same amount of power that we've been talking about. If you're only playing in 1080p your FP and FPS is your main goal, I'd probably stick with the Ryzen 5 7600 like I mentioned before, but go with something more along the lines of the RX 6750 XT for the GPU. You should be able to find those somewhere in the realm of $300 new or even less on the used marketplace. If you need personalized advice or help with your next build, make sure you join the Pixel Pub Discord server. It'll be linked down below. Otherwise, if you want to see what it actually looks like when a Twitch streamer comes over to the Pixel Pub, builds a monster PC just like this one with me, make sure you check out these highlights for when Obsidianite stopped over for a drink. We'll see you over there.